Hello everyone, DA here with your video of the day. Is the new RTX family of CPUs worth your time if you are a casual gamer? Now I will try to explain the importance of the RTX GPUs and how they differ from the GTX series as well as if your differences will be noticeable if any. So first let us take a look at some of the stats released from the lowest tier of this series. The RTX selling point as of this time is that the shadows integration is a lot much better. There are no bleeds between light and dark areas. Ambient occlusion will be better for items in the games and they will feel more grounded and real due to the quality of lighter and darker shadows. The RTX 2070 is part of the Turin architecture and they are basically moving away from the Pasco series of calculations that we currently have and a lot of us currently use. So the quality of lighter and darker shadows are much better. That is one of the things that is part of their selling point. So the base clock of this one is at 1620 megahertz, which is a little bit slightly slower than the, or slightly lower than the one that we have in the GTX 1070. The graphics memory is at eight gigs, which is basically the same. And of course it is a GDDR6 form. So the biggest selling point of this series when you compare it to the current gen is that the memory speed is at 16 gigabits per second versus the 8 gigabits per second. So you're looking at memory speed and then you are looking at the shadows and of course how, you know, basically what they call ray tracing. So how important is this? Well, this technology right here is basically going to affect your draw distance and the tessellation for some of the things that you do. How many particles can you load effectively in real time while all the things are going on within the game? Will transition from lighter areas to darker areas be seamless or will it be delayed when you are watching or playing those games? So this is some of the few things that this card will do better than the GTX series. That is basically what they say it will address. So if you're looking at this compared to the GTX series of the same card, this on paper is a lot better. And this is based on the data that was released by Nvidia. So here is the answer to a lot of the questions that you guys are probably having at this point. In this current gaming market and quality, I don't think it is worth $600 at the lowest and the base one. If you will be gaming on a monitor that is at 1080p, it is just not worth it. This card is mostly going to be beneficial to those of you who will be investing in the next gen of games like Rage, Cyberpunk, and more, and who will be gaming at 3K or 4K monitor display. At 1080p, I doubt that you will even be able to notice the differences graphically and in performance because when you are running on 1080p, when you're playing any of these titles at 1080p, the graphical experience will also be scaled down and most monitors at 1080p might not even be able to express these colors in the fine lines of difference. So it is basically no point. If you're gaming at 1080p, then a 960 might even be a whole lot better for you because you're not going to see any difference. This is going to be for those who are gaming at higher resolutions. So if you are gaming at that 1080p, once again, like I said, it is not worth your money unless you just want to buy it because you might upgrade in the future. If you're planning to get a bigger monitor or higher resolution monitor, then I will tell you that, you know what? It is worth your money. Go ahead and buy it before it becomes scarce. But other than that, wait for the performance test from a lot of people so you can know what you are getting into and know which cards you will be getting. But let me know what your thoughts are about these cards. Are you excited for them? Will you be getting them or will you be passing on it either way? But as always, thank you very much for watching this video. Hope this video helps you and hope it sheds a lot of light on some things that you might have been wondering. Thank you very much once again. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.